Hotep Scorpio, welcome to your Lover's Abyss reading for the month of December 2020. I am the Cosmic Divine Tarot and Scorpio, if you like this video and you want to go ahead and donate to my channel, then please do follow that link in the description box below and it will lead you to my cash app and Drop a sister off a couple dollars, okay? I will most certainly appreciate that, love. Now, Scorpio, this here is for your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Lilith signs. If it resonates with you, then hit that like, share, subscribe to my channel. Hit the bell notifier to know when I will be uploading more of your messages, Scorpio. And if it doesn't resonate with you, then don't worry about that. I'm just going to go ahead and get you next time on the flip side. Now, Scorpio, all these cards I have laid out here for you are from the Barberry Zodiac Oracle, okay? Because I like to get the uh, Zodiac sign that you may be dealing with, love. And four cards came out for you, all right? <clears throat> Scorpio, first you got the Earth card, okay? So this is telling me that you're dealing with an Earth sign, like... Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus, somebody who is very hardworking, somebody who is, uh, seem to be married to their job, <laughs> but they are also very sexual. You see, she is like holding on to her, you know, rubbing her naked body here, okay? So they're also very sexual and they have a very strong sexual desire for you, all right? Now, you also have someone who is a water sign. The water sign is a Scorpio uh, Cancer Pisces. This person is very emotional, okay? They're very emotional. They get triggered very easily, okay? They can get very angry at the drop of a dime and then say things that, you know, they wish that they hadn't said. You know, they're more like ruled by their emotions. But you already know that because you're a water sign yourself. It's the Cancer Pisces Scorpio, but here's another confirmation of a Pisces. So maybe a Pisces that you're dealing with, someone who is very uh, spiritual, very imaginary, very, you know, uh, very attractive. A Pisces, very attractive, very beautiful person. Now here's Mercury. This person wants to communicate with you because Mercury is the planet of uh, messages and, and communication. Gemini, Virgo, you're also dealing with. So it could be saying that this person who you're dealing with um, wants to be in a stable relationship with you, with the earth sign, wants things to be very concrete with you, but they're also very emotional and very sensitive in how they communicate with you. All right? <clears throat> Now, here is the uh, Romance Angels, Scorpio. Yeah. I got the Romance Angels for you, love. I certainly did. Let me go ahead and get you a few shuffles. Okay, Scorpio. So, it's like, you know, this person with the, with the Pisces and Gemini combined here, I see that this person has extreme mood swings. Okay? They have extreme mood swings where... They can become a total different other person. And the way that they communicate with you, the way that they uh, want to have sex with you, the way that they want to be with you, period. All right? Yeah, this person is like uh, something else with the attitude. You know, there's something else with their attitude. And it's like it's difficult for you to maintain this relationship with this person. Now, let me get you one more shuffle. All right, baby. Here we go. What romance angels do we have for Scorpio? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Lilith. All right. I got family. What messages do we have? For? Okay. Reconciliation. Okay, yeah. Reconciliation. Someone from your past is returning to your life, Scorpio. 
<laughs> so it, it's because of the way that they have behaved and the way that they talk to you and their bad attitude and their emotional self and triggering and destroying everything that y'all are trying to build that you went ahead and separated from this person. But now this person wants to uh, bring you up on cloud nine as you can see she's up here in the clouds he is behind her doesn't have a shirt on grabbing hold of her her shoulders look like he's trying to pull down her dress so that y'all can feel each other skin to skin all right they want to come back and reconcile with you they want to come back and make a better effort a better play for how they have been behaving what other message do we have for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus? Okay, that card did try to come out. Let me see if it come back again. What other message? What is that? I'm going to take that card, but I'm also going to use to see if I can find another card that was trying to come out for you, Scorpio. Okay, let's see if that's it. All right. <clears throat> They realize that you deserve love, Scorpio. Because the way that you handled yourself, they, they know that you are lovable. They know that you're a person who they want to go ahead and aim this bow and arrow at and shoot the love to. They want to go ahead and be your Cupid, okay? Now here's the next card, engagement. Oh. Engagement. They want to bring you a ring sit down and talk with you give you the ring it says your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment okay yeah so these two are all engrossed in each other so yeah this person is trying to step back on the scene being all lovey dovey baby here is the uh casanova tarot another new deck that i have bought babe here we got the more shuffles, okay? Get some more messages here because this person wants to reconcile with you in a way where they're trying to just be an angel. <laughs> they're trying to come at you like they're an angel, but Scorpio, you're going to know better than this, okay? You're going to know better than this because so this person has showed you their true face on that negative side. But also, Scorpio, just because somebody show you an ugly face don't mean that they don't also have a beautiful face. Like I said, you're dealing with uh, somebody here who has extreme mood swings, extreme other sides to them. Okay, extreme. Like they can be totally different other persons. Gemini has twins, all right? So one twin is positive, the other one is negative, all right? <clears throat> or one twin is masculine and the other twin is feminine, which is still positive and negative according to polarities. All right, one more shuffle. All right, and let's go ahead and cut this deck. And see what we have. I say Gemini. <laughs> That's what you may be dealing with a Gemini. Here is the King of Swords. Come right on out. <laughs> Gemini. Aquarius. Libra. This King of Swords is sitting here wanting to speak some truth to you. Mercury here. They want to speak some truth to you. They've been thinking of, you know, how they behaved in the past. You can see he looks kind of, you know... In his face, he looked kind of like, um, you know, he's not feeling good about how he behaved, okay? He's not feeling good about how he behaved, so he wants to come to you after doing some deep uh, retrospection and, and deep... Uh, Going deep inside of himself or herself to find out why do they behave that way. And here's the justice here, Okay. As you can see, they can see you as this very beautiful person right here. She doesn't have on any clothes except for her stockings right here. They say that you behaved in a very feminine way, okay? Very feminine, very soft, and very gentle. And they know with the scales here that they were not uh, bringing you any type of balance. They were not bringing you any type of 
you know, balance of love and affection that you were sitting here all beautiful and all naked and everything and this person didn't do anything but uh, have an attitude. What other messages do we have for? Okay, okay, now we have the, uh, yeah, the, the king of chalices. That they just sat there with their legs crossed and didn't, uh, you know, show you any kind of love. They kept everything on the inside, okay? Scorpio, this person kept everything on the inside. They didn't show you or tell you how they felt. They just sat there. Uh, look like he's concerned about something. It looks like he uh, is being look kind of snobby in the face, okay? They kind of snobby in the face. This person look like they on some bull right here. Okay? That's what they look like. Okay, they look like they're on some nonsense right there. They're sitting there, don't want to say anything. So that's why they're the king of swords. When you were in between this person looking your absolute best, absolute sexiest, absolute beautiful self that you could be. Okay? Now, what other messages do we have for Scorpio? Here we go. Yeah, so when they step back on the scene and try to communicate with you, you're going to be real defensive about uh, them talking to you. You're going to, uh, this is like uh, somebody challenging another person to a duel. All right. So you're going to have your sword of truth. They're going to have their sword of truth. Okay. Why they behave the way they behave. Why they acted the way they acted. Why did they hold in the love that they had? What did they do that for? You're going to speak your truth and tell them how you felt about it. How you felt about how they made you feel, feeling undesirable, like you wasn't beautiful, like you wasn't sexy. What other messages do we have for Scorpio? We've got two cards here. All right. Yeah. You know, you would go ahead and bathe with the four of of wands and you would bathe and you would step out of that, go and shower or the tub with all your clothes off. And this person would do absolutely nothing but just sit back and look at you like this. <laughs> what the hell, Scorpio? Here we got the, the nine of uh, swords here. Okay, and, and now this person wants to come in and rub all on your body and have their hand all down in, in your kitty and in your wand here. Okay, that's what they want to do. They want to have their hand uh, back here on your ass and everything. Just feeling all over your butt. Matter of fact, they want their fingers in your kitty and in your butt. Okay, that's what they want. And they're going to be talking to you like that. Because the nine of swords, the swords here is, is like uh, communication, okay? Uh, speaking to you. They're going to want to give you any kind of rest when they step on the scene, okay? Or this is what you wanted them to be like when you were getting out of the tub and, and whatnot. It could be saying that too, but they're going to be speaking their truth when they come on the scene. And you're going to be speaking your truth about how you wanted them to be all over you like this, but instead it was this reoccurring that they wasn't. That they wasn't over you like that, that they didn't make you feel uh, uh, attractive or or wanted, Okay. What other messages do we have for? Okay, here we go. Here is the three of pentacles. So, that tells me that uh, instead this person went ahead and chose somebody else. Scorpio. So this person went ahead and chose somebody else, a third party, when you were just as sexy as, <laughs> as hot as all mm. Scorpio. Okay. Okay. Okay, Scorpio. Let me see. Here we go. Now this person, after choosing other people, after finding out other people, went ahead and utilized their pentacle, and they're left with three pentacles. Now when they uh, had ten pentacles, okay, but they want to come back to you with this love, with this love offer. 
They want to come back to you as the knight of chalices, want to bring you a, a cup of love and communicate to you about, yeah, they did have a third party. Yeah, they did have sex with these people. Yeah, they did. And that's the reason why they were not trying to have sex with you because they was too busy attracted to other people. And when they left you, Scorpio, they left you for those other people who went ahead after they had the Ten of Pentacles drained them of their money all the way down to the three pentacles baby okay oh oh now they all open and emotional wanting to pour from the inside of their own self into this chalice that they have on this daggone uh horse right here or they could be saying that the third party was someone who performed all kind of magic on them uh, after they drunk from the cup that probably had this person's period blood all in it and other things as well. Okay, other uh, contractions as well. After this third party came to them, giving them a chalice, and then they fell under the, the spell of this third party, the spell has been lifted. Now they're coming back to you and speaking some truth. <laughs> Ooh. Scorpio. After something like this happens to a Scorpio... I don't know what the hell makes anybody think that you will be open to be giving this person your heart again. Scorpio, after being betrayed and whatnot, you probably are going to seek revenge on this person by being this person to go ahead and perform some type of magical spell on them and then make them fall head over heels in love with you and then leave them, baby. <laughs> That sounds like a Scorpio thing, because Scorpio will be vengeful as hell. <laughs> Scorpio, you want to perform a love spell on this person, and then when they come to you, you're going to go ahead and have your defenses up, and they're going to lose their daggone mind. They're going to want to have you up all night long having sex with them, but you're not even going to let them touch you. Ooh, Scorpio. Ooh, they're going to want to be all in you. Okay, all everywhere in you. But you're going to be sitting there like, hey, you what, what? This person thought that you were not the king of chalices too? That you could not sit there like, okay, I don't have to show any type of love or affection or anything like that to you. You know what I'm saying? But I'm going to be, be, be performing all kind of love spells on you because this is the king and the queen of chalices here. So that's my masculine and feminine aspect, which is the reason why I got the deck on scales here to go ahead and weigh what it is I'm about to put in this chalice to make you go crazy over me so you sit here and you drink whatever it is that i'm uh pouring you and the next thing you know you have lost your damn mind Ooh, scorpio and then this person gonna want to get you all naked like the queen of chalices but you're gonna be sitting there all clothed like the king of chalices <laughs> scorpio here we got a guarded heart, baby. <laughs> Ooh, shit. Okay, lingering trust issues, fear from past hurts, love. Oh, can't get through that wall. That love can't get through that wall. This may be a spell that you even perform on your damn self. Like you're going to make them fall head over heels or rise head over heels in love with you. But then you're going to put a spell on yourself not to lower the deck on. Ooh the wall mm, meditates and the way to do it is meditating controlling your desire okay here we go we got you building up the wall here but it looks like you're meditating behind that wall so they don't even know what's going on behind this uh Plasana that you have out there behind this posture or pasture or you know what I'm saying posture posture that you have right here Okay, it says go meditate body Meditate daily look I can't read because I need glasses 
Follow your intuition. Find inner peace and balance uh, alone or with a partner. You're going to choose to find inner peace alone before you go ahead and three of pentacles them and bring yourself somebody else because you already know through the power of your own meditation that you can manifest in a daggone person anything that you want because you already see it happening scorpio so while this person is uh losing sleep right here dreaming of you uh having your clothes off because they see you as their four of wands they see you as their so uh uh twin flame okay and dreaming of keeping you up all daggone night long you're gonna be finding you somebody else <laughs> scorpio damn who you're gonna be physically intimate with <laughs> The topic is up for discussion. Choose healthy, balanced relationships. Doing it for the right reasons. So you're going to go ahead and find somebody and you're going to have sex with them for the right daggone reasons. Uh, and you're going to be very intimate with this person. Right in front of this other person who finally decided to acknowledge that you... Uh, were the person who they wanted after speaking to you and, and behaving with you or behaving to you like in such an ugly fashion now here's feel great first you're going to be feeling great doing it scorpio you're going to feel the feeling of having a partner healthy relationship raising your vibration while this person's sinking down into the damn gutter okay Woo! scorpio here we go life goals be sure your life goals lifestyles and are congruent with your partners grow together or grow apart okay while you're growing apart from this person finding somebody else who lifestyles is congruent with your own because the grass is going to be greener with that person that person instead of this nasty ugly person who is treating you like garbage they're going to try to step back on the scene like i'm an angel I'm an angel. Now you ain't seen this person's face. It says passing up options. <laughs> You're going to pass up on this one, Scorpio. The uh too quick to decide. Take time to know them. Uh change circumstances. So you about to change the whole game here. You about to change the whole game here. This person should have never came back. Okay? <laughs> they should have never came back so now this person going to come back and try to reconcile with you and they should have never did that because now a Scorpio is going to go ahead and make this person feel like crap because of how this person made Scorpio feel like crap and it, you know it's going to last for a while Scorpio until you get tired of it until you get tired of, the, of playing with them and then you'll go ahead and lift the spell all right, because people are doing all types of spell work today. They, they just are, okay? And it's like, hey, we're just going to have to accept the fact that that's just happening in the damn time that we are in. As a matter of fact, this is an old ritual of people doing uh, spell work. Uh, I personally don't do spell work myself because I just feel like uh, that's just not something that I do. But, hey, Scorpio. If this reading resonates with you, then go ahead and hit that like, share, subscribe to my channel, hit the bell notifier to know when I will be uploading more of your messages. And if it doesn't resonate with you, love, then don't worry about that. Just so I know that I'm going to get you next time, okay? Scorpio, peace, love, and light. Hold up.